Chicken Project. Hello, fellow wood chopperoos. The Big Chopperoo and Safety Dan here. Yo estoy hablando por Safety Dan. And él dice A. Hey. Uh, okay. Well, on today's episode, we're going to show you how to make this router hand plane with probably some scrap wood that you just got laying around the shop. Ellos deben de ser suaves. Uh, safety? Who's that guy? Oh, it's Alfredo. He's my assistant. He's from Spain. Oh, oh Spain? Oh, uh, hi, Alfredo. Hey. Uh, safety, what do you need an assistant for? You know, for assisting things like keeping my beer cold and helping me with these lines. With your lines? Yeah. These scripts of yours just keep getting longer and longer. I can't put up with that, so I got an assistant. And I got a great deal on them, too. Whatever. Let's just get on with the project. We are going to begin with five key components. Allen wrench, whatever size you want, a thumb screw, washer and wing nut, and of course some scrap wood. Okay, now before we use any power tools, let's take a tip from Safety Dan. Estos hombres quieren que yo les diga que usen lentes de protección y o, oídos de protección, pero estos americanos me están pagando mucho dinero por esto. Wow, that sure is a lot to say just to wear your hearing protection and safety glasses. See, that's what I've been telling you. That's why I need an assistant. Begin by cutting the wood to the length and then cut out the shape on the bandsaw. There are two pieces that will need to be glued together here. The bottom piece and the smaller upper piece. A hole needs to be drilled in each of them. In the top piece, the hole will just pass the edge of the board. Now by placing that piece on top of the other, Chad finds the placement of the second hole. With the top piece again, he extends the line from the edge of the hole to the sides. And then he draws a slight curve to it. Trying to cut the curve on a bandsaw can bring your hands dangerously close to the blade. So use a clamp to hold the work piece, keeping your hands safe and clear of the blade. After the cutting is done, glue the upper piece to the lower one. After the glue is dried, drill an eighth inch pilot hole through the pieces. Here Chad is using a very long bit so the chuck of the drill won't interfere. Now he switches to a bit which is slightly larger than the size of the thumb screw.
With the thumb screw in place, trace around it to carve out some wood so the thumb screws sit recessed. Here he's using a chisel to do this, which you can find at a local woodcraft store near you. With the thumb screw reinstalled and sitting recessed, mark where to drill a hole through the screw. Here Chad drills a series of holes starting smaller and working his way bigger to the size he needs. Make sure you don't drill too close to the edges of the screw. Now we need to make the Allen wrench sit recessed. This will help prevent the wrench from moving when you're using it. And just like before, carve it out with that same chisel. Okay, now do a test fit to make sure everything snugs up. And now we're ready to mount the handles. Chad doesn't like the handle straight up. He would actually like it angled. So he'll do this on the miter saw. This is something he could have done earlier though. Again, drill a series of holes and mount the handles. For all intents and purposes, the router is pretty much done, but the wrench needs to be sharpened to make it a blade. And as you can see, the length has to be shortened too. Use a cutoff wheel and keep it cool with water. When shaping the angle of the blade, be careful not to overheat it and frequently use water to keep it cool. Now just take it to the stones and get it razor sharp. Last thing of course, take it for a test run. Well, there you go. Now you too can make this nifty little router plane just from some scrap in your shop. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, Safety, how are you going to pay for Alfredo? So check this out. I agreed to pay him 100 euros an hour. That's like only one US dollar an hour. Oh, man, it's such a steal. Uh, no safety. You're thinking pesos. Euros are like 150 bucks an hour. Oh. Well, it probably really doesn't help that I told him that you were paying him. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to us on YouTube. And don't forget that we have the website where we have the blog and free plans and more. Well, I guess there's one more thing that I got to do. Chad, I think it's time for you to dance. Oh, yeah. This program brought to you by...